Do you have good listening skills? Can you come up with creative solutions to problems? And are you someone who knows the importance of communicating clearly? If it sounds like I'm speaking about you, maybe now's the time to talk about your career as a speech-language pathologist. Speech-language pathologists work with children and adults who have difficulty speaking or understanding speech, or who have problems with swallowing. To help us get a clear understanding of this fulfilling career, we chatted with a speech-language pathologist working in Alberta. Hi, my name is Ajal and I'm a speech-language pathologist. Speech-language pathologists can assess, diagnose, and treat a variety of different communication disorders, including stuttering, feeding and swallowing, as well as voice disorders. A typical day can include lots of different things, so it's never the same schedule, but it always includes checking emails, some type of collaboration or meeting with other professionals or with families and clients, going out to um, home to see a family or out to a school. It also can include writing reports or checking our system for data collection. Hi Sandra. I currently work at the Centre for Autism Services of Alberta, which is a not-for-profit organization. Many speech-language pathologists also work in school boards, um, out of hospitals, and some also work privately. So we're going to practice having a conversation. The duties and responsibilities of a speech-language pathologist include accurate assessment and diagnoses of children and adults who present with um, communication difficulties, as well as providing evidence-based treatment and treatment options for these families. Um, other responsibilities we have are ensuring that we are providing information about other supports as well to these families where they can access any type of groups or treatment that they may need. And say, I, I want, want to go. go. Tools that I might use include an iPad to engage and motivate the kids that I work with. And as for toys, often just buying really fun novel cause effect toys is also a really good tool. That's a shovel, what's this? And I might also use to diagnose and to assess kids, standardized formal assessments as well. And a banana, do you like bananas? No. My current work environment is pretty flexible, which is a really nice benefit of being a speech language pathologist here at the center. I can have really busy days where I might, you know, be out to two or three different homes in a day and then out to a school and have a team meeting all in the same day. And maybe the next day is dedicated to writing a report or making phone calls and checking my emails. So I'm able to set my schedule the way that um, fits best for me. Okay, thanks, bye. To become a speech language pathologist, you need to have an undergraduate degree in any field. And after your four year undergrad, then you need to have a two year master's of science in speech and language pathology or communication sciences. We can only ask yes and no questions, right? Some of the challenges within my work would be size of caseload. There are lots of kids and adults and families who need our support. So it does take a lot of time and energy to be able to support these families. The other challenge would be being able to effectively collaborate with other professionals. So we all come from different backgrounds with different opinions and perspectives and um, it does take a lot of time and problem solving and communication to be able to work in a meaningful way with other people. When we hire speech language pathologists we're looking for energetic people who are compassionate, flexible, open-minded, and um, just a true people person. And you find that it affects his ability to interact with others? You have to be able to hear other people's perspectives, understand other professions, understand what the client wants, understand what the family wants, and be flexible with all of that information and integrate that into your services. And what about her use of language? If somebody was thinking about being a speech-language pathologist, I would encourage them to talk to, volunteer, or observe another speech-language pathologist to get a sense of what the work entails and what the schedule is like and the population that um, we work with. Do you want the bridge or the piece? The bridge. What inspired me to be a speech language pathologist was I found a passion um, for languages and for child development and also for helping people and families and being a support to them. Two, three, four. four it's extremely satisfying to engage and motivate the kids that I work with. Speech-language pathologists can make a big difference in their clients' lives. To succeed in this career, you've got to be a people person, someone who can focus on the details of problems with the perseverance or persistence to find solutions. 
Couple those skills with the right training, and we're talking about you. Learn more about this occupation, including educational requirements and salary ranges, in the occupational profile on the ALICE website. And find out about related occupations like audiologist and linguist. Explore the possibilities. Go to alice.alberta.ca.